All right, guys, today we're playing a Teemo in the top lane. And uh, yeah, we're going to be following the uh, builds of the number one best Teemo player in the world, which is a challenger Teemo one trick. So that's going to be uh, pretty exciting. Uh, for the runes, the, this guy is picking Grasp, a Demolish, a Bone Plate, Overgrowth, Taste of Blood, and Ravenous Hunter. Um, he also likes to start with Dorn's Ring, which makes perfect sense. And he also always maxes out E, W, and then Q. He never maxes out Q as a second, which is interesting. Like, he completely values the, the, the movement speed. In terms of, like, build, he usually goes for Rhythmaker into Nash's Tooth. Usually, that's what he always does, actually. Only with a few exceptions. And he always goes for Steel Caps or Mercs. You don't really get to see him, like, play with Berserker's Grief that much. But yeah, we're currently up against Camille. Interesting matchup. Honestly, not the best matchup in the world. Because uh, if Camille plays with Ignite, uh, it's going to be pretty painful. And it seems like this guy sort of knows how to play Camille's because he has like TP and Ignite. So if he goes like all into me, it's, it's going to hurt. It's going to be painful. Hmm. Every time she goes for a creep, I want to drop an auto on him. But I don't want to take... Uh, I don't want to take too much damage from the creeps. That's the only problem. Place a ward down here. Cossacks might be coming topside soon. Got to keep that in mind. Hmm. I want to proc my grasp again. We have one potion left. Ooh, this guy's getting low. I got him. Thank you very much. I appreciate that one. He's going to lose like a massive wave though if he doesn't TP back now. That was perfect. Ignite Teemo. You know, very understandable. That's what everybody does. So, now the first item that he always uh, likes to go for is the item in itself, which is Steel Caps. But we're going to do it slightly different since we already have like one kill. Uh, we're just going to go straight up with damage right now and take the uh, revealable potion. It appears that this Camille actually TP'd back to lane. So she didn't really lose all the farm, although we're still ahead of her in, like, in, in farms right now. As well as an XP. And we got the wave like pushing back towards me as well, which is very good for me. Although as soon as I get back in lane, I'm going to try to like thin out the wave a little bit. Because I want to build up the wave back towards Camille again so I can poke him under tower. We'll see. Most importantly, when you play with this Teemo setup, you want to always be in combat with the creep so you can proc your... Um, Oh, nice try. But yeah, this to always proc your grasp. Very important. Let's see if we can thin out the wave just a little bit. Every time that Camille jumps on us, we want to time out our Q so that when she lands with her E, that she can't really do any damage with Q. Nice. Seems like she's having a lot of fun. Like, we're already ahead in farm by a lot. Like, we're about to uh, double the farm against Camille already, which is huge. Now we're going to, instead of like hard pushing it, we're just going to like slow build the wave. We're going to try to like stack it up as much as possible. Uh, hopefully we can get like uh, two more waves on it. And then we make that crash into the turret and then we will try to like poke Camille under tower. So that she is forced to either go for the farm and take the damage. Or staying back and losing it all. Yes, sir. So yeah, we're just going to slow push this. We're going to take it easy. We're definitely not going to give uh, Camille the chance at uh, thinning out this wave. We just want to keep it stacked up. Uh, we know that Kha'Zix is currently in bot lane. He's pathing towards uh, the walls right now. So we don't have to worry about wards either. Oh. <laughs> I get selfie with cannons, man. I'm telling you. Okay, now we're going to start pushing because the next wave will arrive right now. Getting a grass proc. Nice. Got my uh, level 6 right now. 
Got one potion remaining. I'm going to use that now. Now comes the fun part of the lane because now we're going to be poking him constantly under tower. Here comes the fun. And also I'm going to place a ward down just in case Kha'Zix is going to come in. You see that? You see how much space I have with uh, poking down this Camille just because I stacked up the wave? Now we keep pushing the next one. Uh, Kha'Zix is actually coming top right now. Not very happy with that actually. But uh, yeah, maybe we can kill both of them. Hmm. Um, yeah, I don't know where he is actually going. Oh, please don't walk into my shroom. Oh, actually. He's going to backboard now, so I'm going to have to take my chance here. Hey, but he cancelled the backboard. He's still here. So this is our this is our chance. Now we're going to actually kill him. We got ignite ready. Nice, got the bone plate from this guy. He's gonna lose this one too. Push up this next one. Class 6 is probably coming top side, gotta keep in mind. He's gonna have to back now at some point. It's looking really bad for him. Yep, this guy's dead. The poison and the ignite will kill him quite easily. <laughs> I know that this Ka6 is currently topside. Uh, I want to try to thin out the wave though. I'm just going to use shrooms everywhere. So if Ka6 comes in, he's going to have to have the choice. He's going to have to make the choice whether he goes in with the, uh, you know, with all these shrooms around me. Let's get back right now. Yeah, we're currently ahead in terms of, like, double the farm, even more than that, actually. Yeah, now it's quite simple. We're gonna go with Steel Caps. Um, the way how this build works is quite simple. If you stack up your... Um, if you stack up your, um, your damage on Camille, you get all those Grass procs and stuff. If she tries to go into us, we will have the Steel Caps ready, which will block uh, a pretty big, large portion of damage. And then as soon as she backs off, we're just going to try to like chase that down, get as many, um, oh wow, get as many um, autos off as possible. It's all about kiting back and forth when you play against Camille. And the steel caps will help with it, because now we can just like stand in, in her face. You see? She will never beat me here, ever. And there she goes. So yeah, like I said, she would never beat me there because I got steel caps ready. She will first have to go through my Q and miss her autos or Qs, whatever. And then when she finally gets the chance to uh, to pull her entire combo on me, uh, that's when I come in and, uh, you know, block the entire damage with my steel caps. So yeah, pretty nice. Uh, some sh oh, I don't have shrooms yet. Whoops. My bad. Got another plate. Let's push out the next wave as well. Actually, I'm going to drag the wave a little bit. Oh, never mind. My shroom is about to expire. Back to the same thing as, as, as before. We're just going to be stacking up the wave soon. Nice. I like how Camille's trying that every time, but it just doesn't work because I'm too tanky anyway. Ooh, we hit that one. Hmm. <laughs> okay, I'm dead. No, I'm dead. So unfortunate, man. I was actually expecting to 1v2 like both of these guys, but unfortunately, I don't actually got the damage yet to do it both. I was uh, thinking if I if if he would miss the the hook that I could just 
you know, let him walk through my shroom and then we could just finish it off, but... Yeah, it was the complete opposite of what happened. Like, he hit he hit it, he dodged my... I believe he dodged my shroom as well, and then, uh, yeah, he came away with it. I think if that was... If that was just, like, a slightly... Um, I think if that was just being played, like, slightly different, I would have actually had the chance to kill both of these guys. Oh. All right. Sure. Okay. Oh, my Q was like two seconds or like one second. At least we got like one kill again. Unfortunately, Silas is... Oh, we got Silas too. I didn't even notice. We actually got two kills out of a 1v3. Okay. Sure. Now, you know what's going to happen. We just got the Rift Maker right now, which is the core item of what you want to go for with the, uh, you know, the number one Teemo. Uh, now, we're going to try to stack up some attack speed. Uh, but before we do, I'm just going to take a little bit more damage going with the, uh, going with this item. I don't really want this guy to get plates. I hope he doesn't get anything. Alright, I'm happy. Like, if Camille gets plates, it's gonna become an issue. And here we are. We're gonna do the exact same thing like we did before, except this time we're not gonna be stacking up the, the, the wave. We're just gonna, like, hard push it as quickly as possible. I can't wait to get Nash's dude right now. It's going to be a huge difference. I wish I had more damage on my... Uh, on my... Um, demolish. What? Okay. This is the third time I get in a 1v3. Like, literally, Silas, Cossix are sitting in my face right now. Like, this Silas is going as far as leaving his entire lane and just letting Talon, like, push it in completely. Alright. That's, uh, quite interesting. There we go. Literally no 1v3 for like three times in a row right now. We have to be very careful because these guys are just constantly sitting in my face. Every time I come back, there's they're 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 ready again. Let's go. Seems like all of these guys have also like bolt mercs right now. <laughs> We're like ahead in like 40 CS despite uh, dying like three times due to 1v3s. It is so unfortunate that I've been unable to uh, to get my demolish uh, procs on the turrets to get the plates. Like the entire strategy got basically destroyed because I got camped like really hard. Now we can finally get this turret at least. Guys, don't be too surprised if Kha'Zix come top again. It's pretty likely. Silas is probably coming top again. Don't be too surprised. We got it. We finally got this turret. Now it's a matter of just farming up everything. We don't have vision anywhere. I'm telling you 100% that other people are top again. I'm telling you, Classic is, is here. Just give it one minute and she's gonna, he's gonna show up again. Now it's just a matter of just farming up everything, trying to uh, get as many jungle camps as possible. I'll use my shroom so I can push faster. Good. Let's get the golems right now. You can already tell, like, if this Camille walks in, that Kha'Zix is here too. 
Oh, please don't let the shroom go down. We're taking no damage because we got a Rift Maker. Which makes farming like a lot easier to do. Nice. Staying close to the shroom because if he walks in, then we can just kill him. We're like twice the f twice the farm ahead of this guy. I think that their bot lane will eventually go bot uh, top though. Uh, they just backboarded now. Nice. We need a hundred gold more just to get my next item. I think I'm just gonna. Um... Hmm. I need like slightly more though. Wait, I'm just gonna sell this one just to be able to get it now. I think that our next priority is probably going to be bot lane because Drake spawns within like uh, one minute and twenty. If I can, you know, stack up uh, shrooms at the Drake, we can probably get it. For free. Let's hard push this one. I'll use mushrooms to push faster. Gotta get everything ready and set. There is no wards down here at all. Time to place the first room down. Every shroom that I place from now on is going to be at the Drake. Just so we can win everything. I don't know what you're doing, my man. But you're not going to be able to 1v1 me ever. Hmm. We can't stay for too much. I'll see if I can place a few shrooms again. I don't know what you're doing, but I got Ignite. Thank you very much. Placing Shrooms down again, same way as before. This is why I place Shrooms down at the Dragon, because I know that they're coming eventually. It's just a matter of time. Like you, uh, If you play Teemo, you gotta set up your Shrooms at places before the objective comes in, so, so they won't see it. Uh, that def definitely did not kill him. But at least we get the, the strike now. Uh, this guy's gonna try to steal it. Or no, he doesn't. Sure. Uh, this guy's probably dead. This guy's pretty dead. No escaping for that guy. Also, Camille's TPing too. So I'm very happy that we just walk out there. Of course, Lux is trying to chase us down, which obviously doesn't work. Huh? You're here? Oh? I mean, I like how she tried, but that would never work, man. Even if I was alone, she would still never beat me, ever. He comes closer to me. Okay, that guy's dead. Man, we're so far ahead in this game right now. That Camille is pretty useless. Uh, pretty useless now, cause uh, <laughs> we've been destroying her in lane. Even despite getting camped, like Camille's just not coming back ever again. Push this one, and then we go back to base. The wave clear of Teemo is so good though. Like once you place a Shroom down under the in the middle of the wave. You can take down a wave instantly. Let's take this one. There's a wards here. For some reason. Maybe there's a blue buff we could take. I'd be very happy with this. Got it. This is going to help a lot. 
to play turns down and do a lot. Hmm. Could maybe try something, but. Nice. Sidestep. Camille's right here. We have Mordecaster, which we can use to stand behind for. This guy's dead. Ooh, close. Close. Oh, S. Oh, wow. I did not expect this, to be honest. <laughs> wow. I get CC'd by luck, so uh, Ezra could pull the entire combo on me, including the uh, ultimate as well. Okay, so Rift Maker is very much the core item. This is what you want to build that uh, he always builds, um, including the Nashes 2. This is pretty much default. Um, anything else that comes after these two items is very situational. Uh, we could go for Zanias, which is good against uh, Kha'Zix and Ezreal specifically. Also, Demonic's Embrace. But most importantly, Morello is what we need now because they have Silas, which heals a lot. If they get even more lifesteal, yes, it becomes even more important. Now we have two choices. We could either go for Demonic's Embrace, or we could just maximize Teemo's damage by going for Rabbit and Void Staff. I think we're just going to go with... Um, I think we're just going to go with Demonic's Embrace, uh, just because it helps like so much, especially in like, 1v1s when we split push the side lanes. Now, a question I get a lot is whether uh, it's always worth like maxing W after E. Uh, which, personally, when I play Teemo, I rarely do it. Usually, I like to go with E, Q, W, because you maximize the damage this way. And there's a lot of benefits from maxing Q as well. Uh, but from what it seems like, the number one Teemo in the world, yes, uh, you know, the number one. Uh, he always goes for W max after E, which is perfectly understandable too, because the movement speed it provides allows you to, you know, outplay your opponents quite easily. It's not always about damage when you play Teemo, it's more about, uh, kiting, sidestepping things. Oh, this guy's trying really hard. Yeah. That was, uh, quite interesting. Hmm, we can kill this guy too. Oh, he's flashing away. Okay, sure. Uh, Silas is over here. This guy's dead. You are dead. Thank you very much. This is going to be the fourth Drake right now that we're, uh, that we're getting. Play some strong here too. Okay. Got it. Let's go balling. Push it out. I don't know what this uh, Camille is doing. Now we're just going to keep pushing as hard as possible. I would actually like to have a blue buff so I can, um, you know, play some shrooms a lot easier, but. Blue buff is down currently. And I think that Lux could pro probably be here. Gotta keep that in mind. Like, she can Q me and then I'll get stuck. And Ezra can hit, like, all the combos. Gotta be careful for that. Oh, man. Look at my damage. Like, one auto is, like, 300 damage on Ezra. <laughs> We're not even talking about the poison that comes afterwards. Or my Q or my R. Yeah, this is definitely the reason of why you should max your W. Like, th this here shows why. If I didn't max my W now, we would have never got these kills because uh, we wouldn't be so fast. Okay, maybe we can... Maybe we can get uh, the next turn now. Let's see. It's only Camille life and she's topside, so we have like... We can even take the inhib down. 
I don't really have that much mana for my shrooms though, so I'm not I'm not placing them down right now. Oh man, farming with uh, farming with your shroom just feels so good, always. Let's take the blue buff. We uh, we gotta get this one, and then we can just keep pushing bot lane over and over. Nice. Back to splitting, putting shrooms down. Uh, they're coming bot though. They should be here somewhere. Let's keep farming up. If if I can see anything, if I don't see them on the map anywhere, then I'm just gonna keep farming uh, jungle camps. Uh, Silas is here. He should be here somewhere. But he's gonna have to walk through mushrooms. And we're back at full mana, so now comes the fun part. You see how I'm placing those shrooms down? We're, we're like placing them down like right next to the wall. That's usually where people walk. I'm gonna use my W. Maybe we can sidestep Lux Q. Nope. Got two shrooms to place. <laughs> There's so many shrooms on the map right now. Already. It's all thanks to the blue buff. This guy's dead. Thank you. Well, the game is gonna end here. That Ezra can't do anything. Now, the most exciting moment of every game that we always play, guys. Uh, let's actually take a look. You know, see how much damage we've done. I think it's roughly going to be uh, 20k. Cool. In case you guys might wonder, like, which Teemo I'm, I'm, I'm referring to, like, all game. Um, it's currently, uh, I don't know the exact name. I would have to, I actually have to check it up. Uh, the exact name I'm talking about is... Uh, where is it? Ask for SoundCloud, his name is. Uh, either way, for the damage, we've done 27.2k uh, damage uh, for the runes. Uh, this is what we've used. Once again, if you're looking for the Timo guy, his name is Ask for SoundCloud. He's a challenger player, 600 LP. So, uh, yeah, just check it up. But either way, before this YouTube video ends... Uh, this game was being played live on stream, guys. If you want to see me play live, uh, definitely make sure to check out the link below the YouTube video. I'll place it down there. But uh, thank you for watching today's YouTube video. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.